Hi and welcome to the Cult of Crafting. My name is Michael and in this quick little guide I'll show you the best way I've found of making beams and girders out of cardboard and a couple of tips to get better results. Let's get into it. I'm using 2mm graphics medium weight chipboard. It's like the stuff you can find on the back of legal pads. Uh, a lot of boxes are made from it too. I'll be making a couple of H-beams and an L-beam. For the H-beam you'll need two sides and the middle bit that connects them. Here I'm marking out the width for the strips of cardboard. I found that anything between 5 and 10 millimeters works well for games like Warhammer, Kill Team or Necromunda. For the L-beams you only need two pieces, but one has to be a bit shorter than the other to take the thickness of the cardboard into account, as you'll be gluing one to the side of the other. It's hard to make the cuts completely straight, so just be aware that if the cuts aren't reasonably straight, the sides won't be perfectly angled. It's a minor detail that probably won't be noticeable in most cases. Out of the different types of glue I tried, I found that the best one was PVA glue, surprisingly. Super glue was messy to work with, it didn't bond well with the cardboard and it was uh, brittle once it dried. Hot glue was difficult to apply in a straight line and had almost cooled before I managed to stick the pieces together. In both cases, the strips of cardboard would easily peel off each other. Almost as an afterthought, I tried PVA glue. PVA usually takes hours to dry, which is why I didn't initially think of using it. But surprisingly, the glue soaked into the paper and bonded the pieces in just a few seconds. Of course, it doesn't cure that fast, but it's enough that you can work with it. The best way I found of applying the glue was to use a paintbrush. It's a lot easier than trying to pour glue straight from the bottle along the edge of the cardboard. H-beams are easy enough to make. In my experience, you can just eyeball the center of one strip and place the other strip in the middle of it. I'm pulling the ends away from each other to keep them straight. It might be a little off-center, but it probably won't be noticeable. If you want to be more precise, you could measure out the center and draw a line with a ruler and use that as a guide. L-beams are a bit more tricky to make than H-beams, because you have to place one strip of cardboard precisely along the edge of the other. An easy trick is to find something to use as a guide that'll support a 90 degree angle, like a box. Just take the widest of the two strips and place it along the box. Then take the other strip and place it along the edge of the first piece. Make sure they both sit flush along the box. Then just wait until the glue has bonded enough for the L-beam to support itself. Be careful that you don't leave it there too long, as you'll probably get some glue on the box too. An extra step you can take is to coat the beams with PVA glue or Mod Podge. It isn't strictly necessary, but it's a quick process and it makes them more durable. The main thing for me is that you can cut them into smaller pieces without tearing the cardboard. You might want the end of a beam to be angled, and cutting it at an angle is easier than making them that way in the first place. I'm using PVA glue thinned with water at a ratio at around 1 to 4. I thinned it to make it easier to get an even coverage, and I thought that it would also make it easier for the paper to absorb the glue. I do feel like this sacrificed a bit of durability though. I probably should have given the beams another coat of glue, or used a less diluted mix of glue and water. I ended up spending less than 5 minutes per beam, so you could spend an evening making a bunch of these for future use. Alright, so I hope this was helpful. If you want more tips for crafting, check out this video. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future videos, leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.